A wake is being held today for a 14-year-old girl. Her heartbroken father says her death was avoidable. I'm Christy Lee, and I'll have what led up to her passing. Human trafficking is pulling in billions of dollars. Learn how much it's increased in recent years. Plus, a bill to end sending money to Ukraine and urge peace. And the Church of England is facing criticism for the new direction it's taking. Starting today with a young woman bullied to death. Adriana Cook ended her life just days after a video was circulated around her public New Jersey high school, according to Fox News. The disturbing video shows Adriana and her boyfriend walking down the hallway of the local public high school when a student walks up and starts walloping her in the face with a water bottle. Adriana falls to the ground where she is repeatedly kicked and punched by a group of students. Her father says his daughter showed him videos of people taunting and threatening her on TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat following the attack. Two days after the incident, on February 3rd, Adriana was found dead, having taken her own life. Now her distraught father is promising to remember her legacy by bringing awareness of a broken school system he says overlooked extensive school bullying. He says despite reaching out to school faculty, no action was taken by anyone following the attack. Michael believes his daughter would be alive if the school and police had taken immediate action. He plans to take legal action. All four students involved have now been expelled and are facing charges. Modern day slavery. Mexican cartels are now making 13 billion annually from human trafficking alone. That's up from 500 million in 2015, a 2,540% increase. And that's the business of just humans, not factoring in the drug trafficking. Former U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Mark Morgan explains the challenge. The, the challenge now is because they've become so powerful and so lucrative and they have so much oper operational control of our border and they change their, we call them TTPs, ta uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures. Now they're doing a lot more mixed loads, so they're smuggling drugs and people. Uh, so now their, their profits just exponentially increasing because the border's wide open and they have free reign. The New York Post reports in February of 2021, criminal cartels earned as much as $14 million a day. While Mexican cartels make billions trafficking vulnerable people, the U.S. is sending billions of taxpayer dollars to Ukraine. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February of last year, the U.S. has been the main contributor to the Ukrainian war effort, with over $110 billion spent on financial, military, and humanitarian aid. This includes more than $27 billion in security assistance. Congress Congressman Matt Gates of Florida is now leading a resolution to put an end to that aid and is urging all parties to reach a peace agreement. The resolution, referred to as the Ukraine Fatigue Resolution, has 10 co-sponsors. It highlights the vast amount of equipment that the U.S. has provided to Ukraine since the conflict began, including munitions. Pentagon officials say this move has severely depleted United States stockpiles, weakening U.S. readiness in the event of conflict. The resolution also says that by providing aid, the U.S. might be contributing to civilian casualties, with estimates suggesting that 40,000 civilians have died in the conflict so far. Fresh off the Church of England announcing its pronoun project to make God more gender neutral, it's now voted in favor of officially recognizing gay marriages for the first time, with priests now being empowered to give their blessings to such unions. Breitbart reports the two most senior bishops in the church say it has been a long road to get to this point. This move has not come without criticism. Some within the church's legislative body rebuked the decision. What I have witnessed regarding how the bishops have handled this matter so far, I'm afraid to say is a fiasco. This is a false debate, as the key document which we should have been uh, debating is missing. The bishops say this is about people. It is about much more than that. It's about the word of God and about Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith. In 1 John 5, 3, it says, this is love for God, to obey his commands. Where does the church get its doctrine on marriage from? It comes directly from God. In Genesis 2, God the Father instituted marriages between a man and a woman. In Matthew 19, verses 4 and 5, God the Son expressly endorsed that. And the bishops have affirmed that this is unchanged. 
So here's today's takeaways. A father is taking legal action against a public school after his daughter dies by suicide just days after a brutal bullying attack. Human trafficking profits soar as a former CBP commissioner says an open border makes it even harder to push back on Mexican cartels. A House resolution is introduced to end funding the Ukraine piggy bank and encourage a peace agreement. And the Church of England is being accused of putting people and politics over the word of God. For the latest top headlines, be sure to go to AmericanFaith.com and subscribe to our daily newsletter. For American Faith, news you can trust, I'm Christy Davis.